Let me take you back to a time of great change, to the bustling streets of New York, where our story begins with a young man, an immigrant with nothing but a suitcase, and a mind brimming with ideas. This man, my friends, is Nikola Tesla. As Tesla first set foot on this new land, his heart was a tumult of hope and ambition. The towering city of New York stood before him, a symbol of the endless possibilities that awaited. Every clang and whistle, every shout and murmur, was to him a symphony of progress, a testament to the feats of human ingenuity. But to truly understand this enigmatic prodigy, we must journey back to where it all began, in the serene hills of Smilyan. In the quaint village of Smilyan, nestled among lush hills and whispering winds, Tesla explores his surroundings with a sense of wonder. His world is one of endless curiosity, each discovery a thrilling adventure. The son of a priest and a talented homemaker, young Tesla finds his first sparks of inspiration in the stories and mechanical ingenuity of his mother. One evening, under a canopy of stars, Nikola lies in the grass, his eyes tracing the constellations. His father joins him, pointing out the celestial bodies, weaving tales of ancient gods and cosmic battles. These moments with his father plant the seeds of a deep love for the mysteries of the universe in Nikola's heart. As the years pass, Nikola's appetite for knowledge grows. He devours books on science and philosophy, his mind alight with questions and theories. At his mother's side, he watches in awe as she invents simple household gadgets, her resourcefulness stirring his own creativity. Despite his father's wishes for him to join the priesthood, a brush with illness convinces his family to support his true passion, science. In college, Tesla's world expands dramatically. He delves into physics and engineering, his professors marveling at his brilliance and unorthodox thinking. Here, Tesla dreams of harnessing the power of nature, of lighting up the world in ways never before imagined. Years pass, and with them, Tesla's dreams grow ever larger. It wasn't long before he realized that to bring his visions to life, he must venture beyond the familiar hills of his youth. With a heart full of dreams and a suitcase of aspirations, he set sail for the new world, a land where he believed even the stars were within reach. And so, Tesla arrived in New York, a city pulsating with life and ambition. With the letter of introduction to Thomas Edison in hand, Tesla made his way to the offices of Edison Machine Works. The letter from Charles Batchelor, one of Edison's former employees who had worked with Tesla, read, I know two great men and you are one of them. The other is this young man. Edison, a man of practical inventions and business acumen, was intrigued but skeptical of this young European immigrant. Tesla, with his ideas about alternating current, AC electricity, was at odds with Edison's firm belief in direct current, DC. Despite their differences, Edison, perhaps seeing a spark of genius in Tesla, offered him a job. Tesla's first tasks were not the groundbreaking electrical work he had dreamed of, but rather solving practical problems in Edison's DC power plants. However, Tesla's brilliance soon became apparent. He worked tirelessly, often from dawn to long past dusk, fixing generators, and improving the DC system's efficiency. One night, while working late in the Edison machine works, Tesla had a moment of inspiration. He had been mulling over the problems of Edison's inefficient DC generators. Tesla believed that alternating current was the key to unlocking a more efficient, more powerful means of electrical transmission. He sketched feverishly, diagrams and equations flowing onto the paper outlining the basic principles of an AC motor and power system. It was a revolutionary idea, one that could change the course of history. But to bring this vision to life, Tesla would need more than just the backing of Edison. He would need to fight for the validity of his ideas in a world that wasn't quite ready for them. As the days turned into weeks, Tesla's relationship with Edison began to strain. Tesla's ideas about AC power conflicted with Edison's business interests in DC power. The young inventor realized that his vision for AC power might never come to fruition under Edison's tutelage. Determined to pursue his dream, Tesla eventually left Edison Machine Works. He found himself navigating the harsh realities of New York City, taking on various jobs, including digging ditches and physical labor. While digging ditches, 
Tesla couldn't help but share his ideas with his fellow workers. He spoke of a future powered by alternating current, a concept that seemed fantastical to those who labored beside him. His talk of harnessing Niagara Falls to generate electricity sounded more like science fiction than feasible engineering. During this time, Tesla met Alfred S. Brown, a manager at Western Union, and Charles F. Peck, a lawyer. Both men saw potential in Tesla's ideas and decided to finance his work. They set up Tesla Electric Light and Amp manufacturing, giving Tesla the opportunity to work on his AC electrical system. In his new laboratory, Tesla threw himself into his work, creating patents for AC motors and transformers. However, his investors were more interested in immediate, practical applications rather than Tesla's grand visions. They pushed Tesla to focus on developing an improved arc lighting system, a far cry from the AC power system he dreamed of. Despite the divergence from his main interest, Tesla's work on the arc lighting system was successful, and he received several patents for his inventions. However, in a turn of events that reflected the cutthroat nature of business at the time, Tesla's investors decided to take control of the patents. Tesla was forced out of the company he helped establish. Finding himself penniless, and without his patents, Tesla experienced one of the lowest points in his life. He continued to work on his alternating current system in his mind, but the lack of resources and support seemed insurmountable. Tesla's vision for a future powered by AC electricity seemed more distant than ever. Despite these setbacks, Tesla's reputation as a skilled electrical engineer began to grow. His work at the Arc Lighting Company and his dedication to his ideas started to attract the attention of other investors and engineers. Among those who became interested in Tesla's work was George Westinghouse, an inventor and industrialist who was also a proponent of alternating current. Westinghouse, having heard of Tesla's innovative ideas and his struggle, reached out to him, marking the beginning of a significant collaboration. Westinghouse offered Tesla a lifeline a chance to develop his alternating current system and a partnership that could potentially change the course of electrical history. For Tesla, this was the opportunity he had been waiting for, a chance to bring his vision to fruition. Imagine a moment that changed everything in the world of invention. Nikola Tesla, a man of dreams and electricity, meets Thomas Edison, a powerhouse of industry. Their handshake marks the beginning of an epic battle of ideas. Edison, known for his shrewd business tactics, launched a campaign to discredit alternating current, arguing that it was dangerous and impractical. This campaign included public demonstrations where animals were electrocuted using AC power, an attempt to sow fear about the safety of Tesla's system. Tesla, on the other hand, focused on the technical advantages of alternating current. AC power could be transmitted over long distances, more efficiently, and at higher voltages than DC. Tesla's work on transformers and AC motors demonstrated the practicality and efficiency of his system. The 1893 Chicago World's Fair, also known as the Columbian Exposition, became a key battleground for the War of the Currents. Both the Edison camp and the Westinghouse-Tesla alliance vied for the contract to light the fair. Westinghouse, with Tesla's AC system, won the contract. The success at the World's Fair was a significant victory for Tesla and Westinghouse. The fair was lit up with thousands of incandescent lamps, powered by Tesla's alternating current, showcasing the practicality and beauty of AC power. The White City, as it was known, gleamed as a beacon of the future. Following the success at the Chicago World's Fair, the next major challenge was the Niagara Falls power project. Tesla and Westinghouse's vision was to harness the power of the falls to generate electricity and transmit it to Buffalo, New York, over 20 miles away. This project was monumental and fraught with technical challenges. However, Tesla's genius and the practical application of his AC system proved successful. After the triumph of alternating current, Nikola Tesla became a celebrated figure in the scientific community. His partnership with George Westinghouse had not only proved the superiority of AC power, but had also led to the electrification of America. Tesla set up a laboratory in New York City, 
where he would create some of his most astonishing inventions. This laboratory became a hub of innovation and a testament to Tesla's genius. In this period, Tesla delved into experiments with high voltage and high frequency electricity, laying the groundwork for future technologies. One of Tesla's most significant inventions during this time was the Tesla coil. The Tesla coil, capable of producing high voltage, high frequency alternating current, was a marvel of electrical engineering. It had far-reaching implications, not just in the field of electricity, but also in radio technology and even in the medical field. Visitors to his laboratory were both terrified and awestruck by the displays of electrical power. Tesla's vision for Wardenclyffe Tower was groundbreaking. He imagined a world where information and energy could be transmitted wirelessly across vast distances. The tower, also known as Tesla's Wireless Tower, was designed to be the first of many such towers around the world, a beacon of a new era in communication and power distribution. In 1901, with funding from financier J.P. Morgan, Tesla began construction of the Warden Cliff Tower. His plan was not just to transmit wireless signals across the Atlantic, but to provide free wireless energy to the whole world. But as the tower stretches towards the sky, dark clouds of doubt and debt gather. However, the scene takes a somber turn. Financial troubles loom large as investors, led by J.P. Morgan, grow skeptical. The tide of support recedes as the practicality of Tesla's vision is questioned. Funding dries up and the construction halts, leaving the tower incomplete, a skeleton of broken dreams. Tesla's spirit is crushed as he watches his greatest dream crumble before his eyes. Warden Cliff Tower, once a symbol of potential, now stands as a monument to unfulfilled ambition. Tesla's vision of a connected and energized world fades into the realm of what could have been. As the final chapter of Tesla's tale unfolds, we find him a changed man. The once celebrated inventor now wanders alone, his groundbreaking ideas buried under the weight of an indifferent world. The streets of New York, which once held the promise of glory, now echo with the whispers of a forgotten hero. The world around him kept moving, but Tesla's fame and brightness started to disappear. His ideas, which people used to talk about a lot, were slowly forgotten. He was ahead of his time but others couldn't keep up with his great thoughts. In this lonely part of his life, Tesla was by himself a lot. He used to be surrounded by exciting work and people who praised him, but now he spent most of his time alone in a small hotel room. There, he held on to his dreams, surrounded by his plans and inventions that never got made. Tesla, who was once famous for working with electricity, now spent his days feeding birds in the park. His death on January 7, 1943, in New York City, went relatively unnoticed at the time, and he died in relative obscurity. It wasn't until after his death that Tesla's contributions began to receive the recognition they deserved.